Time for another board game review, and this time it's the game Space Invaders. This was sent to me by Buffalo Games and is designed by Kane Klenko. Based on the classic arcade game that started it all, it plays Space Invaders like never before. Can you team up and defeat the alien invaders to claim victory, or will it be game over and the invaders win? Let me show you how to play. So in Space Invaders, you are trying to wipe out these space invaders that are coming towards your planet, as well as that big old UFO on the top over there. Do so, you're gonna need a soul flipper. This is gonna be your your main weapon against these extraterrestrial adversaries. Each round, you will uh, shoot your blast tokens, um, and you start with two uh, at the beginning. But as you take more damage to your planet, you will unlock more. Each blast token has three levels. Level one for this player, for example, is if you hit the UFO with this blast, uh, then you can uh, mark its damage and relaunch this token for a bonus shot. Um, all, all players will have three different levels of shots, but again, at the beginning, you just have these level one shots. So, to launch it, I, play, I put the disc here, and then uh, you uh, have to put, position it below the bottom edge of the board, um, yeah, you launch it. So let's see if I can get a good shot here. Ooh, close. Okay, so uh, that was my first shot. Let's try another one. All right. So once you've launched your attack, then you resolve it. So this is a successful attack. It is touching the card, so this invader is destroyed. If I had managed to land a token inside the UFO, by shooting it in there. Uh, that is a hit on the UFO. And that is another, that is a requirement for the end of the game. So I would then move this down. You gotta bring it down to zero. If you bring it down to zero and wipe out all the invaders, you win the game. If you didn't manage to hit anything or land in the UFO, it's a miss, you just remove the token. Uh, if it lands on an invader that is shielded, none of them are shielded right now, but I'll show you those later, um, or requires two hits, these guys here require two hits if you want to uh, blow these guys up. So if you didn't manage to get two tokens on it, it doesn't count. If I did manage to land one on the card, you leave it on the card and the other players have a chance to try to take it down. Because again, this guy needs two hits to be vanquished. However, if all the players take their turns and this guy was not taken out with two hits, then you just remove these. So for fun, I'm just gonna launch some more, um, some more hits while also demonstrating some special abilities. Yellow player, uh, before launching, choose an invader. If you destroy that invader, take a bonus shot at the UFO at the end of your turn. Um, so you're kind of like going, mm, I can I can hit that one for sure. Uh, I probably won't be able to do that. But let's say I go, you know what? I'm gonna hit this guy. Both of them, I'm gonna guarantee it. Probably won't, but let's find out. That was a terrible shot. Ooh, God, that was close. Okay. So that doesn't do anything. Another one, green player, can say if you hit an invader, you may redirect the attack to an adjacent invader instead, vertically or horizontally. Okay, let's see if that works. Damn discs. Nope. So that doesn't do anything. Finally, this one, uh, blue player, if you don't land on an invader, apply the short blast wave to extend the shot. I'll show you what this means. So, let's see if I can actually land a shot. That would be a good illustrator, or illustration of this. Close. We'll see if that works, but for now, shoot both of them. Okay, so if we look at this, now this invader is out. Let's pretend that this one was a little bit closer. Then I could put down the short blast wave card, and it's touching this. So uh, you put it at the edge of the circle, it's touching that card, and that counts. So this one is taken out. Once everyone has taken their shots, then it's time for the invaders to advance. Starting with the rightmost column, they all move. This means they move one space, two spaces for this guy. So he's pretty simple. You always go uh, right to left, and then the and invaders that are closer. So this guy, he just goes forward until he's blocked by another invader. That means he's gonna hit the planet. So he's gonna go pew, pow. It's one damage. So you take a damage to your planet. And this guy's gonna go boop, boop. Move down twice, and then both of you guys, whew, 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 
few more damage. The numbers on here tell you how much damage they do to a planet. Uh, and then you take these and they get shuffled back into the deck. They will reappear later. Now, as the planet takes damage, you'll start hitting these explosion icons. And what those mean is as you pass them, each of you get more blast tokens unlocked. The first one will just be your level one one, but as you move up, you'll get level two ones and level three ones as you move up. And those cards have different powerful abilities, like this one level two, you may relaunch your token one time, or level three, if you attack the UFO with this icon, you may launch up the three times to hit it once. Then, after you determine if you get any more discs, you refill the top two rows. And you always do it right to left and top to bottom. And you pass the turn token, a new player starts the next round, and you start firing again. Here, the shield icon has come out. This shield alien protects any aliens that are adjacent to him. So if you want to take out this guy, you got to take out this guy first. Now, you keep taking turns, you know, shooting aliens and having them take damage and such. Once you get down to six or fewer invaders, that round is the final assault. Let's say, I don't know, these six were left. In this case, they all have the uh, this symbol for movement. I mean, they're all gonna kamikaze the planet and they do double the damage of what they have on their card. Well, if they hit the planet, uh, it is considered they are destroyed and don't get reshuffled in. Uh, and during the last round, no reinforcements are sent in when your planet takes damage. So you don't get to earn any more discs. If you manage to destroy uh, all of the invaders, um, the current round ends. Uh, if you uh, survive the round, you then still have to destroy the UFO if that hasn't happened already. So let's say we get past the final round. Then it's the final assault. All the invaders have been destroyed and you just make your assault at the UFO. In this final round, you take tur in turn order, you launch them one at a time at the UFO. You can't use any player card powers uh, and you just gotta hit it the number of times. In a four player game, you gotta hit it six times in that pocket. If you, man if you miss and you don't manage to do it, then it's game over. Otherwise, that's the game. Use your flipper, shoot the discs, try to hit the cards, and you can use abilities to progress, but you gotta wipe out all the invaders and take out the UFO a certain number of times. Some of the other abilities I didn't show, uh, here's level two one. If you do not land on an invader, apply the long blast wave. So it's just this, but turned this way. So it's longer range. If you hit any invaders, choose one adjacent one to hit as well, uh, which is pretty good. And this one, you may destroy invaders that are shielded and ones that require two hits with a single hit. If you don't land on an invader, place the launcher where your blast landed and take a free shot at the UFO. That's also pretty handy. Uh, this one, if you successfully hit the UFO, add plus two to your health. And this one, apply the long blast wave to extend the shot, destroying up to two invaders. So as you can see, the powers get more powerful as the levels go up. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the game. So this was honestly a lot of fun. Uh, dexterity games for me can be hit or miss, sometimes literally, uh, but the theme really shines on this. Uh, there's great toy value with the catapult launcher, and it's so satisfying landing those hits on the aliens, and especially in the UFO, which is it's a really fun concept. Um, I know this is a re-implementation of flip ships, I believe, which I haven't played, but I do think the toy actually is a really nice way to, to launch them. Uh, the special abilities uh, are what make this game more than just a silly toy. There's there's fun little strategy in deciding how to use them. You know, the short wave blasts, long wave blasts. They feel powerful and arcadey. Um, the fact that some aliens can shield each other is kind of irritating because I feel like there's only so much you can control with this little catapult. There's a similar mechanic in the Power Rangers game I reviewed that I also disliked. But, you know, it does add to how you have to think about the game, so I do appreciate it. The table space for this game is also a little awkward because you kind of have to put it at the end of a table because it's so vertically long, which, you know, if you're going to have like four players crowding around it, that's a little tough, but, you know, you, you make it work. And plus, it's the kind of game that everyone's going to be standing and kind of cheering anyway, so it works in its favor. Um, this game reminded me of my favorite board games as a kid in the best possible way. It's a faithful presentation to that video game, fun retro feel, there's a fun toy to play with, it captures the feeling of the actual game really well. Uh, if you're down for some silly fun of launching discs and hitting cards, uh, this gives you just enough 
to also have some fun strategy on top of it. Uh, and really, some of you already knew you wanted this game as soon as you saw the catapult. And I don't blame you. Uh, but I'm happy to say that there are some very fun mechanics bundled with the fun toy. Uh, overall, it's a, it's a good time. I, I really enjoyed this.